if you're looking to export, a couple of quick tips, uh, questions to ask yourself. Are you trading successfully locally? Uh, if you're doing it well locally, then that's a really good indication that you could do well internationally. Uh, if you're looking at selling overseas, talk to your local commercial office because they'll help you narrow down those markets that may work best for you. And then they can then contact us and we can confirm that Australia will or it won't work for your company. You're not going to go into a new market and have things just explode. You're going to sell one or two units, that's going to turn into six, that's going to turn into 20, if everything goes right. But it's unlikely that you're going to go in and everybody's just you're going to get flooded with business. It takes a while for the, the market to accept your product and then they in turn uh, refer their, their, friend, their friends and their network onto this product of yours. Probably the lowest hanging fruit for a new to export company to um, sell more and sell smarter is to have a good unique selling proposition. Too many companies say that um, you should buy from us because we're the best or we have great customer service but everybody says that. So you need to really differentiate why someone would want to buy your products from their perspective. Not because you think you're the best, but because how can you help them? Um, so having that stated very clearly on your website, in all your communication, videos, any social media should be repeating and emphasizing the unique selling proposition and you need to spend some time developing that. Your website needs to be very direct, very uh, to the point, not too clever, Very keep it very simple if you want to get export inquiries from that. When you exhibit, know your frequently asked questions, practice your pitch, and most importantly, follow up and follow through. It can be daunting and, and scary when you think about it, but when, you, when you're educated and you know how the process works, it's, it's financially safe and it gives you the ability to uh, develop a, a completely different geography and buffer yourself from just domestic sales. When your domestic sales are slumping, sometimes you can buffer that with international sales. You can be, become really disappointed fast if you expect to go meet with a company and go home with a purchase order or a sale. Um, there has been companies that I've been working with over the course of three years and uh, four visits and multiple phone conversations where they are just finally starting to uh, market our product and it's going to turn out to be a very strong relationship but if I would have just kind of ended it after a few contacts and they didn't give me any response uh, I would have lost that so it takes a lot of patience and persistence uh, to develop those relationships before they're ready to start uh, buying the product. It is very important for a company that wants to export overseas to first check how the the information they have locally, like the export assistance centers in the U.S., it is important for them to contact this, this export assistant to see what information they already have available for the companies. So a lot of people, I think, get blinders on, they're afraid to export. Sometimes management is afraid of wasting time and losing money on exports. And when I tell them, get the money up front, you can always do that. You, on your first order, any order, you don't have to be afraid to ask for products because if you ask for something and they say no, it's a sale you didn't have at all. So that's a good way to start with exporting, would be my advice. Logistically, you need to consider the modes of transportation that are available to you and how your product fits. Can it be containerized? Does it have to go roll on, roll off? Can it go break bulk? There are a number of companies that approach a market on a whim. Uh, they did a holiday in Australia many years ago, they liked it, so they think that's where they're going to sell their product. You have to do more focused market research than that. You, uh, you have to look at the business fundamentals, you have to look at your own businesses fundamentals, uh, and then you need to talk to somebody who knows the market. That will probably be us in the first instance, and we can come up with uh, uh, or help you come up with a strategy uh, and validate whether this is a good decision for you. Yeah, I'd offer this advice when, when you're going to do business international, is commit to it. Okay, it's not, uh, okay, I tried it for 30 days, nothing happened, move on. 
Uh, it's hard enough to get customers in America, you know, a, down the street from you. Uh, what makes you think that you're going to get a customer internationally so easily? Just commit to the long-term process. Have systems or processes in place to follow up on leads uh, and treat every lead with respect and good things will happen.